Cryptococcomeningitis is a life-threatening fungal infection that affects the lining of the brain and spinal cord. Cryptococcomeningitis is rare in healthy people, but common for those with weakened immune systems, particularly those with advanced HIV disease, also known as AHD. Cryptococcomeningitis is the second leading cause of death in people living with HIV. In Uganda, cryptococcomeningitis accounts for 60% of all meningitis cases, resulting in high morbidity and death. The definition that the WHO suggested was that if an individual was HIV positive and they, they had a CD4 count less than 200, uh, or if they were, and they were above five years of age, they were, or if they had a stage three or stage four opportunistic infection or malignancy, they were considered to have advanced HIV disease. So the, the definition, I think, was primary, and that was the important thing. The, the second aspect of advanced HIV disease was figuring out what, what to do, because we, we knew that those are the individuals who were in the category of the highest risk of death, because they were, they were at risk of getting opportunistic infections and malignancies. And so the ability to identify who had advanced HIV disease, I think, was really important. Over the last 40 years, I suppose, of the HIV uh, epidemic, focusing specifically on Uganda, you know, cryptococcal meningitis has been a major opportunistic infection that we've had. And one of the biggest problems, at least in Uganda and Sub-Saharan Africa, has been the fact that we don't have, well, first of all, struggling with the diagnosis because there were really no supplies to do lumbar punctures. And even when you did make the diagnosis, I think the only drug that was available for, for some places was just fluconazole. The patients with, who suffer from cryptococcal meningitis were being treated with only one type of medicine, that is fluconazole. But with fluconazole alone, the survival rate is very, very low. The outcomes were really poor. So I think almost 60 to 70 percent of patients were still dying, uh, even you know when they were given fluconazole. World Health Organization guidelines recommend a package of care for screening prevention of and treatment of major opportunistic infections such as cryptococcal meningitis along with rapid initiation of antiretroviral therapy and follow-up support for people living with AHD. The preferred treatment regimen for cryptococcal meningitis consists of the antifungal drugs liposomal aphotericin B, flucytosine and fluconazole. With funding from unit aid, the Clinton Health Access Initiative has worked with the Ministry of Health in Uganda to ensure that the best available medicines and screening tools for cryptococcal meningitis are now available to AHD patients at no charge. CHAI's support to Uganda's HIV AIDS program, specifically the Advanced HIV Disease Program, has been very instrumental. We are now able to access fluconazole, liposomal amphotericin B, and uh, 5 flocytosin, which are the recommended drugs for treating uh, cryptococcal meningitis. And uh, we have scaled this to around 19 regional referral hospitals, which has enabled us to treat them with optimal regimens. And uh, we hope that uh, this support will be able to continue and be able to help us treat patients to survive more. For example, in 2021, we were able to treat over 600 patients with cryptococcal meningitis and they were able to survive. And with decentralized care, we hope that we'll be able to find more patients and put them on optimal treatment. With the introduction of liposomal amphotericin and fusitocin for one week, then high dose fluconazole 1,200 milligrams the next week, we've seen a reduction in mortality rates we associated with cryptococcal meningitis death. 
We have also seen reduction in side effects and a reduced hospitalized stay. Through the CHIVE program to train healthcare workers, we've been able to train healthcare workers in the regional referral hospitals to easily detect patients with cryptococcal meningitis, make the diagnosis, and, there, and thereafter manage the patients to improve patient outcome. With the right investments from donors and governments, people living with HIV do not need to die from AHD-related opportunistic infections such as cryptococcal meningitis. We have one number, and we have one number. Na ye we na tu kayo abasau ne vampa ne vampa budiambi abu bumara ne sovola okutelela okudengu okusinzira mumbera jina limu kwa na jia ndi mumbera ambi dala dala ya galau kweva za abayu inte cha ine ministry of health okuntu sako okuntu sako bwe reza buno ma budiambi abu buno kusovola kula banga tulivala mbulunji. Now that the AHD package of care is available in Uganda, people living with HIV have more options and wider access to testing, treatment, and clinical support for these infections to stay healthy and live long lives. <laughs>